What's going on everybody? Welcome to Comics in the Basements, one of the first uh, installments of our morning brew. <laughs> so with that, I will give you a little rundown of what we're thinking of doing and what we're actually doing right now. Um, when we, Even though we do get to review a lot of different comic books and all that kind of stuff during the episodes of the uh, comics in the basements, you know, uh, YouTube and podcast. Uh, we don't always get to talk about every single issue. Obviously, it's very difficult to do so. So, what me and Miguel are going to be doing uh, moving forward, you're, we're going to have a, a couple of moments here and there to um, talk about some of the issues that we both either haven't read or haven't gotten to yet, and you know, let you guys know what we're thinking. Um, these, little, these are going to be very short uh, episodes um, for you guys to enjoy on uh, your morning coffee, your morning brew, okay? As you can see, my Batman, Batman, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not picking favorites. <laughs> oh. God, that's good coffee. So with that, um, we'll have a nice little conversation uh, about other issues that we wanted to talk about and we just didn't get a chance to talk about it at all and everything on the actual pod itself because you know there are certain things that are trending and so on and so forth but with that being said i'm going to get into it right now and one of the issues that i want to talk about um is a current run it's on three issues in and it's the current black widow all right um i don't think we're getting this is not getting enough praise i think right now right so if you guys recall a little backstory to it she did get killed um, during, uh, you know, Natasha Romanoff, uh, the Black Widow herself. Um, she got killed by the evil uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers, um, during the Civil War. No, I'm sorry, um, during the Empire event. Thank you. I, I'm thinking of myself. <laughs> uh, during that Empire event, she dies and all that kind of stuff. But then when we get into the Infinity Watch, um, you know, event for like a little bit further out after that, she does make a return, and we find out that this uh, Natasha Romanoff is a clone in the sense or a rebirthed uh, person, you know, so pretty clone, rebirthed, whatnot, but it's all her, you know, so she almost didn't lose any of the memories or anything of the sort. But the Red Room brought her back, downloaded everything that's up to date for her. Kind of like a Krakoa situation, but then that was prior Krakoa, so that's pretty cool that they did something like that, and that's how they brought her back. And you know, and then throughout the whole time, she, you know, she was doing some stuff with, um, you know, her own little things after Infinity Watch. Um, she was a part of the big, um, you know, moments for Falcon and uh, I'm sorry, Winter Soldier and uh, Hawkeye, and as well as having another recent run that she just had a, a about five issues five or six issues i want to say it was a mini run um and this no different i'm assuming um this one here i can say is very interesting all right you know how it is when it comes to the spies and all that kind of stuff there's always some type of espionage there's always some type of uh you know um mind warping and so on and so forth but with this one, she ends up getting amnesia, but in the very first pages of the spreads and everything on issue one, you see that she is working with some of the other Avengers and everything, trying to get some stuff done. Um, and, but then she's taken off guard and she's pretty much shot through a window seal. So now she's falling to her death. But now she's only, but no one knows that she died. Um, and eventually Hawkeye saw about six months out and everything, saw her on television and she is fine and she's normal. She doesn't know who she is or anything of the sort. And those for, uh, this first and second issue that happened, she's pretty much just living a normal life. There's little moments that she does show that um, she remembers her training, but that's like muscle memory. There's always something. Um, and little by little, we start getting understanding why this is happening right it, this is not just a simple case of somebody just like you know she's faking it someone took over her mind again there's a little bit of everything the there's a group of individuals from red guardian uh lady hydra um i can't remember the other a couple others and all that but uh, most of those uh, individuals evil in their own right in the sense or technically know they're the main 
uh, antagonists that you know Black Widow always deals with, they are now trying in in the midst of this. Um, oh yeah, and Game Master, I think Game Master is one of the main ones as well. I want to say his name's Game Master. Duh, I should have skimmed over these issues again before doing this, but it's okay. That's why I have my coffee to keep me going. Oh, so where we're at now is that you know the the whole point is that now that we know that these evil individuals have something to do with it what they're doing is giving her an actual life they even get got her a baby and the baby's hers <laughs> um yelena uh uh the other black widow uh yelena she actually tested the baby's uh, you know dna and all that kind of stuff it's their kid her and a, a new spouse that she has and that's actually what the hell how you know it's only been six months so we have to assume that this baby is like you know maybe like a little homegrown and you know put in there for the part of it um it's you know it just is that baby's there and his baby's acts just like a secret agent always sneaking out of the, the crib and it's showing up at the worst moment ever and it's pretty comical it's cute you know um and now so back to the whole thing we're trying to they're under the what the the bad guys are pretty much saying is that they know every single time they've tried to kill her they either screw it up or she comes back even stronger and faster and you know she never she always holds a grudge right so they're like you know what let's try something different a new approach let's just take her off the board it's been six months and they got to do all their jobs they can do all these other things but now there's no black widow to technically be in the way and they're okay with that because they're not she's just going doing her job as an architect and mind you they gave her a really good cover story she's an architect she's making money like she's living in an amazing house with this guy um and i think he's kind of like a you know they didn't say what his job is but he's semi-civilian but you know obviously the spy game we do, he was planted there so this could be like you know he he is legitimately in love with her or you know they did meet six months prior she already had the baby um you know and he, he just fell for her and all that kind of stuff because now they're already engaged as well so there's a lot of little backstories there but this is where it gets into it issue three all right this is when she starts getting to a point that because yelena uh clint and um bucky they all are seeing her like live a regular life and they're trying to figure out do they need to intervene um yelena is playing it more close to the, uh, to the chest because she's like you know what i'll call you if i need you i'm going to be here because i'm already uh, implement uh, like you know i already implanted myself into this whole t entire thing i have a cover they don't suspect anything and obviously you know there's no reason to because she's not trying to hurt them she's trying to make sure that she's okay and going that way that route i think is actually pretty awesome you know they're keeping it subtle and all that kind of good stuff and everything they're just trying to see where things are taken right but of course there is almost little to no way they could have done this issue without putting in some more action and making things just turn upside down one of the i guess cabal you can say these five individuals and everything the bad guys for um the black widow they he decided to take her out of the board now he wants her gone but you know again most of the, every time they do that if she's dead or hurt the avengers are going to show up her friends are going to come in and cause even more trouble so it's a matter of no the deal is we're not supposed to do this or anything of the sort but he already did it right so then muscle memory hit once again black widow shows up you know in the sense she knows what to do she understands what's happening and one like every single page after that she is just taking names she killed almost every single one of these like uh assassins took them all out with like the most minuscule little thing she made a freaking <laughs> she made a bomb out of a smoke detector that's black widow right that's some of the cool shit that you get to see and you know moving into it now something's different she was realizing obviously there's another life about me that i don't know and now this is where we get into like the whole mystery of the whole thing when does she get um captured to you know get brainwashed why did they brainwash her just to get her off the board you know was there something specifically that they're all working for and working toward that they want to try to get into right um 
will this have a couple more team ups? <laughs> you know, Elena, Clint, and uh, Bucky, they always love to work together. They always are a great espionage team. They're always fun to have together, especially with the equips and so on and so forth. But because of the fact that Natasha Romanoff is not technically Natasha Romanoff, she's just Nat, <laughs> as they, they, they put it into the, the comic who's to say that she's even capable of doing the job that she needs to do without getting her memory back so we can have a maybe a couple more issues of her having the muscle memory but not fully understanding how to utilize it the right way so it's just causing a little bit more mayhem or you know um just a fun storylines because at the same time i also want to know where this baby came from the clint said it during issue two it takes nine months to make a baby and she's been gone maybe six tops <laughs> so it's a lot of fun stuff to actually look into i think this is a pretty good series especially as a starter uh for a lot of people that haven't read any black widow um it's fun um a lot of action gorgeous artwork and you know i like where this is going the direction is you know very you know small town in the sense you know they're not really bringing in all the super villains yet and all that kind of stuff this is all you know just good old-fashioned spy work right um, and you know, this, the, the, the new play into the whole scenario of she's, it's just not a basic mind wash or anything like that. They're trying to keep her happy to keep her out of the way. And I think that's, what's really appealing to me. Um, because at the same time, eventually you get a little annoyed that, you know, why is she always getting brainwashed? Why is it so simple? You know, it's like another typical red room scenario and this one is just a little different you know what i mean it has a, a subtle things you know and it's that's what's good about it with that subtle take you're adding more to it now you're also getting her giving her a family she's again i think if you guys know anything about the red room they actually take out all the reproductive organs from their um from their assassins to make sure that there's never ever going to be a reason for them to choose one or the other so there's a lot of backstory for uh, Natasha Romanoff and with Black Widow in general. It's definitely going to be a, a read to enjoy. Um, I can't say how many issues this one's going to be. I'm hoping it's at least a maxi uh, for this, at least this arc. Um, I think 12 issues can flesh it out really well. I think it can give the, the writer an opportunity not to rush things and, you know, kind of just get forced into oh, I got my memory back, and now I get to, you know, take care of the people that, like, you know, shot me through the window, so on and so forth, and typical revenge things, and I think, I think we can, we can flesh out this story a little bit better, and right now, I'm enjoying it. After reading issue three the other day, it was a definitely uh, a fun read. I, I enjoyed it, and I think you guys will too, all right? And with that, I think that's plenty to go off of if you guys are interested in reading the book picking up the book or waiting a couple more issues to see until it gets a little bit further into the the arc um and you know go check it out and with that miguel will come back with uh, another morning brew and uh let you guys know what he's reading and what he thinks that you guys should go, go check out all right i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day enjoy and i hope you guys enjoyed this first installment of comics in the basements presenting their morning brew peace